The case of Annalise McKell is a haunting one, a grim tale about the interference of church in a matter of mental illness and the family that refused to give their daughter the help she truly needed during a severe psychotic break. It's a very sad story and we have all the info for you today on Top 5 Scary Videos. Hey guys, welcome back, I'm your host Lucy McPhee. If you're a fan of exorcism tales or just scary vids in general, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Now that's covered, let's jump into our list of the Top 5 Scary Exorcism of Annalise McKell Facts. In at 5, The Backstory Annalise Mikkel was born on September 21st, 1952 in West Germany. She was a healthy child and grew up with her parents and two sisters. The family were Catholics and Annalise went to mass twice a week. When she was 16, she suffered a severe convulsion and was diagnosed with temporal lobe epilepsy, which doctors had informed the family could cause long-term side effects such as changes in mood, hallucinations and loss of awareness. She eventually went on to graduate from the University of Würzburg where her classmates would describe her as, I quote, withdrawn and very religious. By the age of 20, she was diagnosed with depression and suffering from suicidal tendencies and was treated at a psychiatric hospital, which leads us into our next number. In at four, psychiatric treatment. Not long after her first seizure, Annalise was checked into a psychiatric hospital where she would go on to suffer a few more seizures. She began to describe seeing demonic faces, telling her she was damned. According to the 13th floor, I quote, the faces would appear to the girl as she prayed, promising Annalise that she would stew in hell. She informed the doctors of this and they quickly prescribed her with antipsychotic drugs. The drugs however didn't work, which led Annalise down a dark path, having thoughts of suicide but believing it would be an unforgivable sin to do so. Doctors tried every medication imaginable but still nothing worked. With science failing, the McKells turned to the church, which is what leads us into Annalise's untimely demise. In at three, rite of exorcism. Enter Ernst Alt, a pastor who examined Annalise and the odd behaviour she was displaying. He listened to her describe the devilish faces she would see and then watched on as she urinated on the floor and ate coal. Pastor Alt believed this was proof that demons had entered the girl's young body and that her doctor's diagnosis was incorrect. The pastor took the evidence to Bishop Joseph Stangl and the exorcism was approved. On September 25th, 1975, Pastor Alt and Father Arnold Renz performed the first of 67 sessions. It was honestly so disgusting. During the rite of exorcism, Annalise would be chained to the bed, and a recording would be made of each event. During the exorcism, it became clear to the father and the pastor that Annalise was possessed by multiple demons, including Lucifer himself, as well as Hitler. In one session, even stating that Hitler isn't well liked in hell because he tends to brag, of course. There would be periods of respite between the sessions, even allowing a well enough Annalise to attend school, but it didn't last. Her condition once again worsened, she would attack her family, her sisters, and when all else failed, herself. She stopped eating saying that demons wouldn't let her and on occasions would collapse to her knees, only to quickly rise back up. She did this multiple times which resulted in her kneecaps breaking. In a handful of lucid moments, Annalise would state that it was her choice not to eat and not the choices of the demons inside her. She eventually came down with pneumonia, dropping to 100 pounds, yet the priests continued. In at 2, the final exorcism. On June 30th, 1976, the priests would perform their final exorcism on Annalise McKell. By this point, her parents had stopped consulting with doctors, firmly believing this was a demonic possession and that the exorcisms would heal her, but they were wrong. By the final exorcism, Annalise weighed only 68 pounds and was far too frail to perform any of the tasks herself, and was instead helped by her parents. On a tape recording, Annalise speaks for the last time. During her final exorcism, she says, I quote, beg for absolution, before turning to her mother and saying, mother, I'm afraid. And finally, in at number one, her death and the aftermath. On July 1st, First, Annalise passed away, the cause being malnutrition and dehydration due to being in a semi-staffed state for almost a year. Following her death, an investigation was made into the exorcism, and a state prosecutor maintained that Annalise's death could have been prevented even a week before her death, which is just really sad. A trial was ordered, and the accused were sentenced to six months in prison for negligence and manslaughter. The sentence was later suspended. In pop culture, many will be familiar with this case through films like The Exorcism of Emily Rose, which primarily follows 
follows the trial and the defense counsel representing the priest. Well, there we have it. What do you guys think? Was this clearly a case of severe mental illness and the interference of church, or do you believe in possession? Let me know all your thoughts in the comments down below. While you're down there, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can be notified anytime we post a new scary vid. And until next time, see you later.